One day in 2013, two brothers decided to go on a really great adventure. Off they went and after a long one and a half hour drive, arrived at Half Moon Bay Cottage, a historic house first built in 1896. Much time was spent lounging in the sun and enjoying the home comforts of Half Moon Bay Cottage. The brothers well fed on the homegrown produce and eating far too many plums. Aside from the dangers of choking on plum stones, the brothers took advantage of the bikes and decided to cycle around the roads to the cheese factory and French farm winery. They also took a walk on the Anawi Peninsula, where the old Māori pa used to be located. Walked along the jutting peninsula once the site of the Anawi Pa, populated by the Naitahu, up to the arrival of the warlike Ngāti Toa Raiders from the north, led by the legendary Tarapraha. <music> Situated on a peninsula, the Pa is surrounded by the sea at high tide. The Anawi Peninsula, despite being well positioned and defended by 400 men and women, somehow bungled its defence against the power of Tarapraha and there were up to 1,200 people massacred. Few Naitahu survived the day, apart from the young and strong taken for slavery and the rest killed nearby. Enjoying the quiet and solitude of this part of the Akaroa Harbour Basin, it is hard to imagine a massacre happening here back in 1831. Meanwhile, nearly 200 years later, the two brothers have arrived in Akaroa for their really big adventure. <laughs> The brothers now set for their big adventure with a couple of tourists, at least one of the brothers listening to the safety instructions from the guide. After a secure and confident start, the brothers were well into their stride, leading to a bit of showboating from one of them. And for a while there was good synchronisation between the two, but at least one brother was keen to get to the pod of Hector's dolphins before the others, including the guide. It was about here the rear paddling brother, supposedly in tune with the lead, fell out of rhythm, contributing to a lurch. The only advantage to being underwater would have been a good view of the dolphins, apart from trying to unzip the kayak skirt and get released. The result of this capsize meant the whole group had to make for sure, and three brothers minus a few personal items like sunglasses and the group were deprived of getting up close and personal to the wildlife, including dolphins and maybe seals. At least two members had wet clothes, and the whole group had to walk back to the car park carrying the kayaks. But overall, the others seemed to take the mishap in good stead, but may have had a few private thoughts about one dumb Kiwi.
And so the brothers returned home, somewhat exhausted but exhilarated at the same time, after a really great adventure.